Hey guys, welcome back to We Watch Movie. I am Mike, and we've got another Scream 6 ah! update for you today. It is a big one. You will see, I promise, no spoilers in these videos that I'm talking about unless you see spoiler in the headline, which will be the spoiler review or spoiler live stream we do after it comes out or whatever. But fear not, you will get no spoilers here just to let you guys know you're good to go. But I do want to let you know to be vigilant because starting today at 9.30, there's a critic screening, 9.30 a.m., and then at 9.30 tonight, I don't know what time zone. Should have looked that up. At some point tonight, this evening, there will be uh, the embargo is going to lift on Scream 6. So this is where you got to worry. Uh, people that don't understand the nuance are going to let slip stuff slip or they're going to hint at stuff. Um, someone inevitably is going to give away something huge in their review. If you're ever going to mute the Scream keywords on your Twitters and all that stuff, now's the time to do it. Because the last thing you want is one of those surprise Sydney and spoilers to pop up and ruin the whole damn thing for you. Speaking of Sydney, Hello Sydney has new pictures out, new photos from behind the scenes. A really cool shot of Ghostface here in the theater. Uh, there's Hayden Penitary looking super hot uh, as an FBI agent or detective or something. She's definitely of law enforcement. Congratulations, you got a date with her at the municipal court system. What movie is that from? Comment down below. I probably jacked up the quote, but you get it. And then the other noticeable one here is Sam holding the knife looking super murdery, uh, looking at what I'm guessing is her dad's shrine, her her dad's ghost face thing, holding the knife really tight. And I think that's what we're going to get. My, my prediction of this is that M Melissa Barrera's character, Sam, is definitely going to be our red herring. I think her and Kirby are the two big red herrings. There's even an interview they did with someone where they're like, you never know, is she or isn't she the way she acts? Are you supposed to like her or not? I think Kirby and Sam are going to be the two people at the forefront where the movie's trying to be like, it's fucking, hey, 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 it's fucking them. But I'm starting to get a feeling in my deep scream chachas that, that's, that Gail is going to die in this movie. I know, I know it hurts some of you so deep, so deep. When I put out that video saying 10 things that would anger people the most, I asked people on Twitter, one of the biggest thing was either Kirby or Gail dies, I'm going to be fucking pissed. Well, I had to deal with losing Dewey, you bastards but no seriously i think it could happen and the reason i'm saying that is because all the information that's been coming out just the way it looks for one missed like the 17 tv spots for this they showed some extra footage in one of them which i'll show you guys here where he actually has her down on the ground and is forcing the knife upon her now is it uh, unlikely that they would show her death scene that up front in front of the camera i guess not but then again some of the stuff she's saying is just strange to me like the Jimmy Kimmel show that she just did, where they showed this clip of her and it showed him chasing her out on the balcony. We've seen so much of that scene, but he asked her about it and this is what she had to say. Is that I can't say whether I live or die. And I love asking people, what do you think happens to Gail? People are so certain. I don't really read after my character is not in the script, whether she lives or dies. I don't really wanna know what happens, so I don't read it. And another tiny little red herring towards Gail possibly dying here is because she did an interview with Variety and she admitted in that that she did end up writing a book after Scream 5. You remember part of the thing in Scream 5, she was like, no, I'm not going to write a book this time. I'm going to write a nice book about Dewey and all the good things he did and how the wrong kid died. Well, the wrong kid did die because apparently Gail reverted on all that, ended up writing a book anyway because she said she told Sam that she wouldn't and then of course she did because I mean someone was going to do it. She had to in perfect Gail speak. And then from one of the Scream experiences you see the book here where it says uh, it's the third one down. Yeah. Requel Terror Returns to Woodsboro which is interesting. By the way, that's totally the dead meat font on the College Terror book. But So she does go and write a book about it which makes her kind of an asshole to begin with that she ended up writing a book about all the stuff she said she wouldn't, didn't write the book about Dewey clearly because I don't see that book here unless the book about Dewey is called Clock of Doom. I doubt it. And this is what I was referring to as well. She said, talking about Cor uh, Nev Campbell, she said, I miss working with her, but I'm gonna support whatever she feels is right. I have a really good scene with Ghostface and it was amazing. I've obviously been stabbed many times and all that, but this time to work with Ghostface and not know who's under the mask, it was really fun. Usually by the time I'm getting stabbed, I know who it is. Now I'm sure she's just referencing, you know, getting stabbed as like run, having a run in with Ghostface. I'm just, I'm just saying. Put a gun to my head, I'd say Gail probably doesn't die. It seems a little soon to kill a legacy character right after Dewey, but then I start thinking about, well, maybe, 
maybe the only reason she was cool with coming back with that with the whole thing going on with with uh nev campbell is she, she's like hey they're gonna kill me off anyways my character might as well have an end i don't know maybe i'm just going too far what do you guys think do you think gail survives this fucking movie there was also an interesting featurette that came out featuring radio silence and melissa barrera talking and melissa barrera says something that was really interesting to me too that leads me to think that maybe the difference in this ghost face i'm something different I don't know why that was very Ace Ventura using the screen voice changer. There's something on the wing. Alrighty then. But I'm thinking that maybe the thing that's different about Ghostface this time around is that he doesn't have a motive. Why? Maybe it's because he was hired to kill somebody. My whole theme this whole time has been, hey, there's going to be, I'm hoping, I'm thinking, I'm praying, that there's going to be a ghost face reveal, but another ghost face is going to get away, leading it to Scream 7, the first time we've ever had a cliffhanger where we don't know who one of the ghost faces are by the end of the movie. Now, I think it'd be really interesting if Ghostface reveals himself, and the whole thing is here is that he is kind of trained, which is another thing I'm hoping, that this ghost face has some Action Jackson skills to him, some 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 sort of fight training, so it's, it's a little bit scary or a little bit more visceral of a ghost face, which follows, I mean, that ties in with everything they've told us, and I've said this in just about every video I've done, but this adds to it too. What if Ghostface reveals himself, and the thing that's different is that he doesn't care, because Melissa Barrera says Ghostface this time, he's just, he's killing people for killing sake the most ruthless and just killing people for killing sake which she just could be in a reference to hey if he american psycho runs into a hobo on the street he gives them a little stabby stab in the ass too i don't know but you could look at it as maybe the difference between this ghost face and the other ones is he doesn't have a motive he's like i don't have a motive i'm just paid to kill people by another the true ghost face are you gonna say it or am i come on three letters and it's not sex Again, I do, I do not think, I just want to reiterate, Stu's not in this movie. Probably in seven. Not in this movie, though. Maybe this guy is hired. He doesn't have, or even if he's not hired, this ghost face does not have a motive. He just wants to murder the shit out of people. Now, that would be weird, and you have to write that really well, because it would feel a little bit empty. But they have talked a lot about breaking the screen rules this time around and things like that. So just something to think about. Maybe it's not his motive. He's just got a bloodlust to murder people, but he's been hired by someone else's motive. So you can get the best of both worlds in there. I don't know. It's just interesting to me. Maybe someone who's actually got a sick, twisted motive hires somebody with training to go through and kill people. So you've got like the whole... Uh, I don't want to say a Mary Sue type thing where it's like, oh, well, this character couldn't have done this killings, but they're the mastermind. Well, they hired someone to, and that's the twist this time around. That could be interesting and a way to get two ghost face out of it. Just a thought, you know, just something to run through your brain, put your finger in a little bit. And that feature, by the way, ends with this badass shot of ghost face doing the dark night tunnel fight thing. There's a relentlessness that is unique to this specific ghost face. What a cool shot. I cannot wait to see Ghostface fuck shit up. Demi Lovato released a music video, which I'm not a Demi Lovato person. Obviously, it's probably not my genre of music. But what's really cool about it is it's that old school 90s music video tie in to the movie, which I just dig the shit out of. The song's not bad, but it's just cool how they like Creed did it with Creed 3 with what if you lied? And that was awesome. I missed those days. So it's really cool they did that. So you can check that video out for yourself. There's a bunch of new, like, little quick shots, including this one of Chad and Tara looking like, no, I will not make out with you. And then I just, I don't like the end of the video because it has Demi Lovato and a bunch of her, her buddies wearing leather in a mansion fucking up Ghostface, and I, you know, it just makes me feel weird inside. Like, don't. No, you don't get to do that. You've not earned that right. If he can kill Dewey, he doesn't get stabbed by Dibby fucking Lovato. I'm kidding. Sort of. It's still real to me, damn it! <laughs> and finally, if you guys have not seen this, it's pretty cool. Ghostface has been showing up on random surveillance cameras and, like, those uh, those live feed cameras just standing there staring at the camera, which is pretty awesome. The cops have gotten called a couple times because there's just a ghost face standing on a street corner. Awesome marketing. Probably going to get someone shot eventually, but still, it's really fun, and I enjoy it. They've spared no expense with marketing the shit out of this movie in Deadpool maximum effort level. And uh, it's, it's awesome. I mean, uh, you love to see it. You really love to see it. I hope Scream 6 does well. I think it's going to. And we're going to see it this fucking week, guys. Coverage all week long. Coverage all week afterwards. Every single Scream thing that comes out, we're going to talk about. And we're going to get so deep into the movie when it comes out. It's going to be awesome. So make sure you subscribe and you have the bell click so that you don't miss those videos when they come out. And then we can get it up, baby, together. That sounded, you know what I mean? But yeah. 
that too. Uh, I love your all's fucking faces. I hope you have an amazing day. Halloween never ends. Suck my fucking dick, and I don't really care what Blumhouse fucking says. Put him in a box, or suck a fucking cock. You can say he's dead, but we all know he's not. Yeah. So let's go trick or treating. Let's go fucking drinking. Let's all go in pumpkin head on VHS. Cause Halloween.